Leonie from Stampalate. I'm here today to show you some quick little techniques for the Stampin' Techniques 101 blog hop. This month we are doing stamping in black and colouring with our markers. Okay, so I'll show you how to do both of these today. This one, just party hats, that's just direct straight markers with the, um, the black stamping on there. Okay, this one here is a little bit more detailed but I can show you a couple of ways on how you can achieve this really really easily okay the stamp set that I'm using today is this one here it's called better together and it's great because it's got your sentiments over here and you've got some pretty little images to work with as well so this is a, a great set out of the new catalog and it's got a couple of different you've got weddings birthday congratulations on your new arrival for little bubbers Christmas and sympathy so you've got a lot of your um, your sentiments covered there or occasions covered there so that's the new stamp set that I'm using today I'm just using the basic black archival ink pad because you can use that for water coloring okay so with our party hat I've just attached my little stamp to my block a couple of little ones here so just stamp it straight down Okay. okay, so you can either decide, I tend to use a light colour and a bright colour when I'm doing my party hats, so you can decide to use your light colour for your background or you can use it for your, um, your dots on the hat as this one is. Just move that up a bit. Okay, so this one is just plain marker colouring in. You can use your markers... When you're colouring in, it's best to start go from light to dark. Now, with your markers, these are either in the family sets or the big full mini marvelous markers set. When you look at your markers, you'll notice there's a thin line and a thick line on your marker. Okay, this means this end here with the thin line is your fine tip. Okay, which you can use for like fine work and for um, journaling. You can use your journal them in your journals as well. This one here, which is your your thick mark, your thick mark around there, that's for your brush tip. Okay. When you use this one, use it like you would use a paintbrush. Don't use it like you'd use like a sharpie or a texter or anything like that. You want to use like the side so you don't damage the the tip of your marker. So I'm just going to colour in. This is the so saffron. If you find it hard, do not go over the lines. I tend to just outline the images and then go back and fill in. So just outline. And then we'll just pop that to the side and then we can come in and use our other marker. Just go around the um, the line of whatever you're colouring in. So this, in this case, you're going to go around the inside line of your dot. So there's one party hat done, and then of course you can't leave the boys out, can you? So we'll do. I'm just going to flip this around so I don't get the ink all over my hand. I'm just doing the lighter colour inside the dots on the party hat this time. This colour here is pool party. Okay, the colours I used on this one here were so saffron and rose red. And then I'm gonna and this one here is Bermuda Bay. There are lots of different techniques you can use your markers for so and they're very affordable too so that's another option for getting like a few collars if you're if you're just starting off stamping to get yourself like a, a nice range of colors if you start getting the markers 
but you can use them to stamp with as well. Okay, so there's your Bermuda Bay hat. Okay, so that's the party hats. And that's what I did for these. And then I just cut them out with my paper snips. Okay, these colours here, this is Daffodil Delight and Bermuda Bay. You've got Floaty Flamingo and Peekaboo Peach. And Peekaboo Peach and Tempting Turquoise on that one. Okay, so just bringing in to do my roses. I'm going to stamp a few of these. So on here, on the leaves on this one, this one's just the plain Pear Pizzazz on the leaf there. This one here, I've used Pear Pizzazz. I've just gone around the edge on that and then I've dragged the colour in with the blender pen. So I'll show you how to do that. This one here, I've actually done two sides of the leaf in the Pear Pizzazz and then I've just coloured in over here in the So Saffron and then I've just blended them with the blender pen. So I'll show you how to do that as well. Okay, with these you can just plainly colour your flowers if you want to or I will show you how to do your highlights in two different ways on that too. So first starting off, I'll just do the leaves in Pear Pizzazz. Now I'll tell you too, if you use your markers light, if you don't, if you just just touch the paper with your marker, it'll come out a lot lighter than if you press harder. Okay, so that's just doing your marker, your leaves with your plain marker. This one here, I'm just going to go on the edge. Alright, now I'm bringing my blender pen. The blender pens come three to a pack and they're all double ended. And then you can do darker on the, the tips as well. There's your leaf on that one. Now, with your yellow, I'm just going to do two thirds. I should have done the yellow first. Okay, so there's your leaf like that. And then you just get your blender pen to blend those two colours together. Okay, so that sort of gives you the, the two-tone leaves. This is a little like a bit of a, an aged leaf on that one. Now, onto your roses. Just with your blender pen too, if you're going to use those, just wipe them off on your sheet or a scrap piece of paper so you don't mix your colours. You can do your whole rose in your pink. This is the pink pirouette. If you want to, you can just leave your little rose like that. So this time I'm going to grab my rose red. Now what I'm going to do, instead of colouring with this, I'm just going to do dot where I want the colour. So just sort of where the petal comes out. And then I'm going to grab a blender and just blend it out. centerpiece here, I just follow the lines on the rows and then you can just blend. So 
that out. Okay, so there's your pretty rose red rose. Now, when I was making this card, I thought I'll just try and do how we used to, when we had the blendabilities, we used to, I used to start off with the dark and then I'd work my way backwards to the lighter colour and that way you could blend it a little bit better. So I just thought I would try that yesterday. And this is what happened. All right, so I'm just going to do my dots again, like I did before. And then I'm gonna get my pink pirouette and then just And just work your colors together so there's your two flowers done both using the same colors this one here is using your blender pen so it sort of smooths it out a little bit better but this one here you can get the same effect by just using your two different coloured markers. Now I was going to do one more. This one's the soft sky. Let's so you can just experiment with your colours. If you want to use, you could do some pretty pink and yellow roses. Now if you want to go back over to, you can just do that to highlight. Making it a little bit darker to accentuate the blue. Always be sure when you put the lids back on your markers that click on so that they don't dry out while they're being stored. And you should also always store them flat like this. So then you've got an even distribution of your ink at either end as well. If you store them like this, all right, you'll find all the ink will come down to the bottom and then the other end will dry out. Okay, so there's your little roses. So there are your roses. You can see the lighter part of the blue that's starting to dry off now. Okay, so that will come up nice and pretty. And again, these are using the same colours. However, just by using either the blender pen or just blending with the, um, the pink pirouette marker gives you a, a deeper or different sort of colour. So I hope you've enjoyed, hope you've got some ideas from the techniques here today and I hope you like the cards I've made for you. Now be sure you get along and hop over around to the other girls and see what they've made for you and hopefully they might have some different ideas than what I do. Okay, thanks for stopping by. Get a better place. It'll take creation, imagination. Try to draw outside.